Hi, join us here today at the uh, Royal Great Parks Obelisk Pond. It's around 18 acres in size. It's a really old, sort of 300 year old estate lake. Um, we're doing sort of like one night a week. So this month I think I've done, well, five nights. Uh, it's been, been good so far. I've had 14 bites, 13 carp um, and a bream, up to just over 28 pounds. Um, the stock itself, oh, some, some immense fish in there, some really, really old fish. I mean, rumoured to be 60 years old, um, real scaly. Um, and all the commons, they're real nice and, you know, real nice gold, perfectly proportioned fish. Um, it's got a bit of everything, really. Um, but it's, it's the whole ambience of the place. You get the most amazing break at dawn, the most amazing sunsets, and looking across the lake, you just get the best vista ever. Stunning place, the love, you know, really enjoying it over here. So my rigger choice on this particular water has been the Hinge Stiff Rig. Um, great hooking properties, great anti-tangle properties, um, and it's just a brilliant rig for fishing over boilie. Um, this time of year in particular, you've got a lot of leaves falling, and debris on the bottom and being in a state late you've got twigs and all sorts um, so having a, a nice buoyant hook bait popped up above that for me is you know a little bit of an edge the difference in the rig that i've been using of late is the actual boom section um, rather than using fluorocarbon or perhaps a stiff bristle or even like a coated braid i'm actually using our camflex lead free leader there's a little tip I do with that, which I'll show you later, but the reason I've been using it first and foremost is A, it's super abrasion resistant. It seems to be a nice um, kind of midway between stiff and supple. It just seems to follow the contours lovely. It requires no putty, so it drops like a rock. Um, and uh, I've had no problems with tangles with it. And from a visual aspect, certainly in the edge, it's very clear over here. And you drop that in the edge and it just, to me, it looks like a twig. It just looks like a bit of debris on the bottom. It doesn't sort of stand out, it just blends away. So um, been, I've tested it thoroughly, to be honest with you, at various lengths and I've had great success on it. So to tie the boom section, the Camflex lead free, I take off around 14 inches of material. And at one end, I will splice it to the ring swivel which runs up and down the leader itself and at the hook section onto the ring swivel that end I'll actually just tie a free turn blood knot Sn trim it up close give it a little blob pull it up tight it'll never slip generally I sort of fish it around eight inches obviously that that depends on what I'm fishing over but sort of eight seven to eight inches is my go-to boom length Nice little edge I've been using of late is uh, getting the Camflex lead free um, material and actually leaving it to soak for two or three days prior to fishing in uh, my dedicated glug. Again, the reason for that is the fibres actually take on the oily glug and um, just help to pull the fish down from the upper layers. So I've got a super high buoyant attractive hook bait plus the actual boom sections oozing attraction, little blobules going up through the water column just, you know, just helping to sort of bring about a bite, you know, especially if you've got quite a large baited area, I want them to sort of pick, pick out that hook bait. Next time you're thinking about going out and giving the hinge stiff rig a go, why not try the Camflex lead free? Adding in that glug, giving it two or three days, I'll tell you what, that will definitely bring an extra dimension to the rig itself. And in turn, I'm sure we'll get you a few extra bites.